All right, guys, I am showing you a very quick activity this morning that will help students um, create cubes and then build and stack with them, creating a tessellating pattern. And I'll give you a really simple cube option and then I'll give you a second option whereby they can actually freehand draw lines to practice their lines um, and create a pattern of a more complex nature. Okay, so we're just gonna start with cubes first up. So you can pick a point, students can pick to do this anywhere on their sheet that they would like to. Um, and again, we just hold down the splat. And we just draw a basic cube. First step done. Second step. And then third step. Now this is where it gets interesting. The students then can choose what direction they want to take their next cube. They might want to attach a cube here. It does not matter how or where they attach their second cube. It just needs to be attached or share a main line with the first cube. So I might just draw one here next to it. I don't need to draw this line obviously and then again it's a critical thinking exercise because they're having to think about as the um, as the drawing gets more complex and the piece of paper gets filled with cubes they have to think about the lines and the faces of the cube that are missing and the ones that are hidden. So therefore when we go to stack a cube underneath this cube we won't need to draw the top of it. We'd simply only draw in the bottom section. And so that being the missing part of the cube. Now here, if I come down and put a cube underneath this one here, again, first step, Second step, I'm only filling in, now I only have to draw in this side. And here you'll see that that piece there is already completed, except for the bottom line here, which we can draw in to create that face. Again, we keep going until we've literally drawn off the page. Now, students can keep going and keep building as much as they want. And then once they've got their whole page covered, if they wanna color this in to create an optical illusion, they can, and I'll show you an example of that in a moment. But if they want to do something uh, a little bit more fancy, without a, um, a protractor, they can simply choose to join each line top to bottom with an arc, and one on the other side, it almost looks like a pedal. And then again, this is great for practicing confident freehand lines. And again, Remember, this is a, a practice activity. We're not looking for perfection. We're looking at the students being able to draw those lines confidently and not having a, a shag dog sort of effect where the lines stop and start. And if you get your students to do that all the way around their cubes, very quickly you can see how that pattern becomes more complex. So I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna finish a couple of examples and I'll pop them up as pictures at the end. If you've got any questions, um, reach out to me. Otherwise have fun, happy splatting.